In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to create a subdomain for your domain on Namecheap. Now, this is really simple to do. First things first, we actually need to go ahead and grab the IP address of our domain. And to go ahead and do that, we want to go ahead to the hosting list, find the domain that we're hosted, that we're hosting. And we want to go over here to where it says go to cPanel. There's a little drop down arrow here. You want to click on that and go to manage. And then from here, we want to go down and this here is going to be our IP address. So we want to go ahead and copy this. And now that we've gone ahead and copied it, we want to go back over here to domain list. Now, once we've done that, we want to go across over here. There's a little drop down here. We want to go to manage. And the first thing we need to do from here is we need to go down to name servers and ensure that this is selected on the name cheap basic DNS. So make sure it's on this setting here. Now, once you've gone ahead and actually done that, we need to go across to the advanced DNS section. And this is where we're going to add our subdomain. So we can go down to the host records here and we click on the add new record button. So what we're going to do is we're going to add an A record and inside of where it says host, this is where you're going to put your subdomain. So it might be info, it might be shop, it might be help, whatever it is, you can put that in there. Now here we're going to put the IP address in that we just got, which is this one here. And for the TTL, we're going to leave that at automatic and we're going to click the check button here and that should be good to go. Now from here, this should have created the subdomain for you. So if you go ahead and use this subdomain, so shop and I put shop.ezl.xyz, that should go ahead and actually work and just redirect or to the normal page here. And I have a redirect set up on my domain, so it sends it straight to Google. But if you go into a new browser and you try this out with your subdomain, it should work. Now, give it a few minutes because sometimes it takes a few minutes to update it. But that's exactly how you go about doing it. Now, if this way doesn't work, there is a second way you can actually go ahead and do it. And to do that, what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to go to hosting list again, find our domain. And then we're going to go to go to cPanel. So this is going to open up our cPanel up. From here, we want to scroll down. And we're going to go to the section that says domains. Now here we're going to go to domains. And we're going to find our domain that we've got here. So this is the one. We want to go ahead and click manage. It says this is not configurable right now, which is strange. So I think possibly maybe if I click into it. Now if it doesn't work like mine because of that weird setting, there's one more place you can go to if we go back few times we can go back to the C panel if we go to this section called zone editor this one here we can actually go ahead and we can add an a record in there a record and we can add the exact thing so we can add the subdomain and we can add our IP address in there add the a record there and it should work on there if it hasn't w worked already that's basically how you go about doing it. So if you enjoyed the video and found it useful, be sure to like and subscribe and comment down below that it helped. Thank you for watching.